This is Building Your Wings 101 with ALAF Squadron Commander Roy Greenwood. Okay, continuing on with our F-86 Sabre wings, we have our Darice Craft Foam here. Normally I use white when I'm working with silver wings. Okay, we have our aluminum sheeting. Uh, this piece is a little bit too thick. We'll show you why later on in the video. And we also have our F-86 Sabre wings that we cut out of can. We'll set those aside for now. Okay, we're going to concentrate on the Darice Craft Foam. You can get this at Walmart, most craft stores. And we're going to take and trace our F-86 Sabre template wing using a ballpoint pen instead of a Sharpie. The ultra-fine point Sharpie has a tendency to bleed, makes the wings a little bit too thick, too long, uh, distorted. So as you can see, we're going to use the ballpoint pen. It's going to come out really well. It's going to give us some nice clean lines to cut around. And there you go. You can see it came out really well. And we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Now while we're cutting it out, the reason that we use craft foam at the aluminum Air Force and soda can models First and foremost with wings, it gives our wings depth. Uh, as you know, wings are not completely flat, so we like uh, wings with a little depth. We do not roll our wings because wings that are rolled have a tendency to get touched, prodded, poked, and they have dents in them, and then you pretty much need to retire the aircraft. So we use craft foam to give it a little bit of depth. It also gives it some contrast if you use a, a pretty a color that's very similar. White with silver looks good, for example. And then the other reason that we use uh, the craft foam um, is to help with the sharp edges especially with the little ones touching it um, the craft foam will take away the sharp edges there you go craft foam is now cut out we'll match that to our f86 uh, can wing we'll flip it over here a sec and it should look really good there you go there you can see the nice depth to the wing we'll set that aside and now we're going to go with the aluminum sheeting um, again this is too thick but for the purposes of this video and showing you what happens we'll go ahead and trace it now with our ultra fine point sharpie instead of our ballpoint pen sharpie works much better on the aluminum sheeting and uh, again we're using this thick piece to show you what can happen to your wings you know the first few times out and uh, there you go looks good now we're going to cut this out with a pair of heavy duty scissors and we're going to cut inside the edge we're going to cut probably about a sixteenth of an inch on each of the edges and i'll show you here um, you'll notice that I'm not cutting on the line, I'm cutting inside the line about a sixteenth of an inch and we'll show you just in how much, there it is, you see it, about a sixteenth of an inch inside of the line and we're going to do that on all of our um, sides of our wing here on the, on the main edge here, we're going to cut a sixteenth of an inch, there you go, you can see it, okay, now we're going to go around the edge of the wing there you go again about a sixteenth of an inch and then of course the trailing edge of the wing staying inside the line about a sixteenth of an inch and there you go now we have our F-86 Sabre wing and it's cut out of aluminum sheeting this piece again is much too thick you want to get a thin gauge and I'll explain why later we'll match this up with our wing and you can see why we did that now it fits inside all the edges of the can piece so now it's time to clean up the can scraps and uh, clear our workspace and we're going to actually go about assembling a wing here using the method that we do with aluminum air force and soda can models. Loctite super glue gel, use whatever glue you want. I prefer Loctite gel. Okay, and we're going to set aside just the aluminum sheeting piece and the can piece. We're going to liberally apply some super glue gel to the inside of this piece. We're going to glue it to the inside of our corresponding can piece here in just a second. There you go, nice liberal amount of super glue. And once again, this piece is a little bit too thick, and I'll show you why in a moment. There you go, we're going to put it on, and it's going to sit right in the center of all the edges. It's not going to protrude since we cut on the inside of all the edges. And now we're going to take and weigh it down. Um, I Again, I use the trusty aircraft encyclopedias. If you have a press, you can use whatever weight that you want. Um, typically, I do this for about three to five minutes. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to do it for a couple of minutes, maybe a minute or two, um, to kind of show you what will happen with your wings, you know, problems you can run into, etc. And in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to take our foam piece and we're going to actually glue this to the inside of our other can piece. And uh, so we'll get the trusty uh, Loctite Super Glue Gel again and uh, line it up. Looks good. Okay, generously apply some super glue gel to the inside here. And uh, again, don't want to be stingy. We want to get enough on here so that it can stick and stick well. 
and uh, we'll flip it over, line it up, and as you'll see, it's a lot easier to flip the can over to be on top when you're lining these up so you can see how the contrast of the foam looks on the other side. You can get it pretty well lined up. And there you go. It's lined up well now. So now what we'll do is we'll press it down, get it nice and flat, get all the bubbles, wrinkles, etc. Um, out of our wing and the foam will stick pretty quickly. Um, there you go. The wing is a little bent but we'll take care of that in a second. You can see the depth to our wing, the nice contrast. Yeah, it bends still. We'll fix that. So we'll take our weights off of our other piece of wing and you're going to notice something right away when we do that. The wing, as you can see here, it does have some bubbles. It does have some wrinkles right here on this edge. You can see them, and but that's okay. We're going to continue on. Now we're going to match this piece to the top piece, and we're going to once again get our Loctite Super Glue Gel and liberally apply uh, a generous bead of glue across the surface of the Doris Craft Foam. And there you go. And then we're going to take it and glue it to the corresponding wing. And of course, if your cuts are off, you're going to notice it here. Again, if your weights haven't been used well enough, if you um, did not let it set for long enough, you will notice the bubbles and warping in your wing. You can, you can of course, fix those. We'll show you that in a later tutorial. So once again, the trusty aircraft encyclopedias uh, for weights. We've got them here. And like I said, typically we would do this for about three to five minutes to allow the glue to set. And But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to take them off right away. Uh, again, I want to show you the problems that you might run into as opposed to the perfect wing. Um, because it's better that you see the problems so that you can avoid these when you build. And you can see right there, there's the nice warpage in the wing, the bubbles. That's what happens if you don't get it. But you can see the depth and the contrast to the wing. It looks really good for the most part other than those little bit, but there you go.